Hey guys, Adrian Somoza here and today we're gonna talk about typography and specifically how to create hierarchy by changing sizes. Okay, so some of you might remember but I, I posted a, a poll on Instagram uh, asking you guys which tip would you like me to do a tutorial about and you chose this one, go big or go home. And this is what I'm going to show you guys. So let's head right into sketch. And as you can see here, I have like two blocks of text, two lines of text. And my first question to you guys would be, which one is the title and which one is the, the subtitle? Probably you don't know, right? Like if you're like me, then you don't know which one is the title, which one is the subtitle. Here I have another example, and now I use the same, the same size, 64, that I used here, 64, but I changed the, the size of the subtitle to 10 pixels, and I did it all caps. So now, as you can see guys, this is really clear, right? Now. One of the biggest problems that I see in designers that are starting out is this. They take a subtitle and a title and they say, okay, I'm gonna do it smaller so, so that I show people that this is the subtitle and this is the title. As you can see guys, this is terrible. <laughs> um, when, you, when you do a little jump that is just below the scale, um, it's not enough. It's not enough for you to, to show visually the hierarchy. And this it looks more like a mistake than something done on purpose. And that's what I, what I think is a, the biggest problem. I think one law of aesthetics is clarity of intention. And to be clear with your intentions, you have to be either very bold in your decisions or very subtle and that's why i say go big or go home this is a middle ground that is that doesn't work and this is one of the most common mistakes i see in designers uh, that are starting out now how can we take this one step further further boom i not only make it like different I go really really radical and I go for example 114 my advice for you guys would be if you're going to change size then do it really boldly and for titles go at least above um, 72 pixels if you're if you're working with with changing sizes you might not be working with uh, changing sizes like there's there's designs that are really good and they don't change sizes. There's other ways to create visual hierarchy other than changing sizes. If you are doing like a change, a little change of size like this, I would tell you guys that just keep it the same size. I mean, if you're not going to go really bold with a change of size, then, then why change size? Like doing a little step creates more visual noise because you make the other person think like is there a change there i think it is but it's not sure um and it kind of looks like a mistake because it's a really small step so yeah and last but not least i'm gonna show you guys um, this concept in action as you can see i said yeah, i said octopus here and that's because i was designing this um, I'm designing like a nature encyclopedia and as you can see I used the small caps with the big titles and it's it really holds and and it works well I can set this like a big type in 216 like a hi hierarchy uh, for the whole page titling the whole page and then I have like small titles here and then smaller titles here but um, as you can see, this works really well. Here's a, an example with a video. So yeah, as you can see, this is, some, this is something that you can start to use today in your UI designs. 
Okay, so hope that was useful and if you have any other requests, leave them in, in the comments below. Let me know what you think and love your questions, so keep them coming and don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, bye.